Hi guys, welcome to Project Transformation. This is episode 11 and in this episode we are going to show you a few things that you haven't seen before. I have an appointment with a masseuse therapist to loosen up my muscles. There are certain muscle groups that need a little bit of attention and a little bit of readjustment if I may. Um, and Yelena and I will be chatting a little bit about the prep and what it takes to get myself ready for coming down to the last, you know, week of the episode. And um, yeah, I, I'm a little bit, I guess you'll see throughout the episode in a couple of areas where I'm talking to you, you will see me expressing a few things. I'm just, basically I'm caught up, I'm kind of caught in my feelings a little bit because it's coming to an end. And I think I'm going to miss the routine. I'm going to miss the training. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's over. I am going to continue with this lifestyle and this path that I've chosen. So thanks to all the guys who have supported us, who have watched the episodes on YouTube. And uh, I want to also say, you know, it has been an amazing experience. And I can't wait to turn all of this, all of the things that I've learned into a lifestyle moving forward. Thanks to Yelena for for really, you know, just giving me the tools that I always needed or I didn't know I needed until now. And in the description below, you will see her contact information. If you want to contact her, you want a consultation or you want to get training, proper training to see real results. This is the place to go. So uh, we're moving on to the new phase. Yes. Are we going to do full body, full body workouts? We're going to be going in the lighter weights. Yes. And basically what you're going to do is just a simple going through the full range of motion of that exercise with a lighter weight and just revisiting the older the technique. Uh, we're going to start with the bigger muscle groups and then to the smallest muscle groups. Uh, we will superset whenever we can. If we can, we're going to complete a workout on a machine and then we So two sets. Everything is just two sets. But this week, everything is about repetition. So this is the system, right? This. Gotcha. So we're going to lighter weights and yes. so we less sets, lighter weights. Less set, lighter weight, but 12 repetitions. We have not kind of done it from the stabilization. Yes. So what we're trying to achieve is we build cells in your strength muscle, yes. we build cells in your endurance muscle, and now we're just simply giving a recovery uh, to the body, but at the same time pumping the blood into all of those muscles on a daily basis. Okay.
Ik weet geen app, ik heb je shoulders down. Right, so this is the last stage preparation kind of steps that are happening. Mm -hmm. uh, during this time, the scale shows uh, very different results. So usually, it's just messed up a little bit because it cannot show exactly what it is. We're adding salt so, so right now in your diet to trick the system so the body will let go of water at the very end. Mm -hmm. Right, so the only thing, the only things that we are actually looking for is if the weight is still coming down. Right, <clears throat> and the weight did come down another 0.8 of the pound. Right, so the only thing that I'm looking for in the last two, uh, in the last two weeks is uh, that the weight is keep coming down. Okay, okay? so from now, uh, from this point until you start eating normal food and drink normal water again, yes. let's say not next week but week after, uh, you will not see true results of your uh, of your uh, body fat and everything else. Okay, so we only going by the way the body look that yes. it started to show new things, right? So, yes. uh, and just, just to give you an example, uh, 10.3 here, it was it's showing reduction in the muscle, right? So all of that stuff. But uh, how do I know that things are working is because I put myself through this so many times in the last seven years. Yeah. I just know how this thing works and what to expect that I expect to see on a scale. Okay. Okay. And for those who do do uh, the preparation for the competition, mm -hmm. uh, they, at this point, it's impossible to go by the scale uh, because scales usually made average athletic to average uh, obese or overweight person, yes. and but it doesn't cover uh, the extremely fit and extremely obese people, okay. right? So whenever the formula was created and put calculations in, yes. they would let's say take a group of people who are certain age, certain fit type, or certain age, uh, certain unfit type, yes. and they will take an average, and for that average, average they will do the calculation. Yes. So my scale is constantly pissing me off because of that, yes. uh, because I am uh, more than average in terms of fitness level, yes. right? And I also see on obese people uh, that they would have to drop good 25 to 30 pounds yes. before the scale even started to show reduction in the body fat. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything is, um, uh, everything is just uh, like when I went on a scale this time, uh, what I'm going to be looking for is just reduction on the number how much I will be losing in percentage. Yes. Uh, but they're not going to take, uh, because my scale right now is showing me that I'm about 26% on a scale, yes. which is not true. I know how people at 26% look like. Uh, when I contacted my coach, uh, he basically said that, no, you look more like 19. Right? So that's like, okay, because I know that this thing, that I'm above average in fitness, Right, therefore, it doesn't show me exactly what it is. I think uh, my theory that the muscle belly is not just become like a thinner coating of the outer layer of the muscle fibers, but becomes thicker, and maybe the scale when it enters into the tissue uh, read it as a fat layer because it's a different density. A different maybe density. it can detect entering into the inner layer, outer layer of the muscle belly and exiting from the inner layer, going through the muscle the bone and repeats it again. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, I Okay, yeah, yeah. Management. Yeah, so, yeah, now from that point, when I started to get ready, my, my shows are going to be September, October, November, mm -hmm. so, but I'm already kind of lining things up for that, so like I see where I'm at uh, in terms of body fat, weight and stuff. Yes. And, um, yeah, that was interesting to see, right? <laughs> so you said there was a reduction in the muscle. Is that yeah, normal? Yeah, but it's the same. Like you will not be able to read it right now. You are full of sodium right now. So you're increasing the amount of sodium. The composition of your, the density of the muscle may be changing in size, yes. right? So yes. that's why I would not even look at this right now. Okay. All we are after, just, it's a reduction of the weight. 
Okay. So yeah. you can wind down a little bit. So yeah, you can down a little bit. So so total is from two ten point two to one ninety two point two. It's almost twenty pounds, right? Wow. Um, eighteen pounds. So in order to understand what eighteen pounds is, yes. I wanted to go to a grocery store mm -hmm. and get fat briquettes yeah. of not fat but butter, yeah. one pound each, yeah. right? And put eighteen of them into a basket. Just for just for shit to be like what eighteen. And take it, is. take it like like in your hand and just like that. And that came from all over my body. This wasn't. You can see your eyes poking through. <laughs> <laughs> Also, not yet, not yet. I'll have, no, no, I know, you know, like, it's every day, you know, the, yesterday, two days ago, I started seeing this, like, right here, I noticed it's a reduction, and I'm like, oh my god. We entered a different phase of the workout for the last two weeks. Um, it's sort of like almost like circuit training where you just sort of like go, it's like speed round. And again, it's just going over the techniques. Um, way less reps, actually, um, less weight. So it feels good. say on this clip here but to um, admit that uh, I am feeling a little sad I am in my feelings right now I'm gonna admit it because this is coming to an end the program is coming to an end but 
Um, I can't wait to reveal to you all this hard work, all of this, all of this. 20 pounds, all of this. So to me, um, I don't know, it's kind of bittersweet, you know, I hate that it's ending, but also there's a part of me that misses food. <laughs> and not that I haven't been eating, I've been eating. It's just that uh, the, the high protein diet that I was on, you know, it was food, but it was sort of like, it changed over the weeks as time went by, but I miss that side of me <laughs> where I can just eat anything. I'm not going to, again, I'm not going back to that, but I want to have, I want to be able to sit down and eat a bowl of ramen, you know? I want to sit down and uh, eat some curry chicken, and uh, I, I miss that. I really do. So, um... I'm gonna go back to it, but I'm gonna take it easy. I'm not gonna jump back in and just, you know, on a whim whenever I feel like it, jumping in into the fatty stuff and slightly or less than healthy stuff. But it would be good to just kind of breathe and eat a meal without thinking about, okay, you know, is this, you know, the right thing? Or is this the healthiest option? So for three months, I've been disciplined. I haven't eaten out not once. Um, all the meals that I've consumed in the last, I would say, uh, 80 something days or so has been food that I prepared myself. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's something that, uh, it takes a lot of discipline, a lots and lots and lots of discipline to actually do. So I'm a little proud of myself, you know, but when this is uh, over, I'm going to breathe for a little bit do some mental calculations and uh, get back into into the scheme of things but be more educated, be more aware, understand, have a better knowledge of self and body and what I need to feed it. So thanks again for representing guys. Thanks for watching the episodes for all you guys who checked it out, gave me feedback you know, on certain things. To my homies who made fun of me. People who are like, yo, Chris, I thought you were strong. You're not really strong. You're right. I'll take an L in that one. I'll take it. But what I really want to say is that I'm very grateful for Yelena and what she's done for me. And I will be forever indebted to her, forever grateful for her literally changing my life. And for you guys who may not believe when I say it's life-changing, all you have to do is try it. Just give it a shot.